Hello, trustees. My name is Megan Sapigal. I am here representing the Elk Grove uh, Equity Gen Diversity Gender Empowerment Work Group. Um, I'm also an executive director for the Sacramento API Regional Network, just newly incorporated as the Asian American Liberation Network. And I want to piggyback off of what Emmy was saying because I am deeply concerned about the data that has come out of the district on the 1920 school year in regards to dress code violations and its enforcement. Now, I know that there is some movement at the district level and on individual campuses, but I wanna make sure I put a parent and an advocate voice behind this. Here's some data. Female students received the most dress code violations with a rate of 3.3 per, per, per 100 students. That's, that's compared to 2.4 for male students. Dress code violations were highest for African-American, American Indian, and Hispanic students. Examining the intersection between gender and race, dress code violations were highest among Black girls, Indigenous girls, and African American males. For dress code violations, African American students had higher rates of punitive action compared to other students at 47%. So what's the impact? Violations result in missed educational opportunities for students. Gendered dress codes teach female students that their bodies are inherently dangerous. It teaches male students that they are not responsible for or in control of their own thoughts and actions. And it erases our transgender and non-binary students. Dress codes that suppress cultural and racial identity perpetuate underrepresentation, inequity, and disparity. And when examining the intervention, the intersections of race and gender, Black, Indigenous, and Latina female presenting students are most likely to receive violations. I have young children who are already being informed about their worth, their identity, their representation, and their sexuality through over-enforced, hierarchical, and hyper-sexualized dress code standards. I urge this district to take a leadership stance on this, adopt a thoughtful, non-discriminatory, and de-gendered dress code, and implore campuses to put an immediate stop to the punitive dress code violations and perpetuate disparity culture burying our students in this already tough time particularly our black and brown young women. Now I know people think that issues like dress code is small fish, especially during a pandemic when the issues at hand are how are we gonna serve our students and protect their health and how are we gonna address loss during this time? But I argue that issues like the dress code are deeply important to addressing foundational root causes to the very disparate impact we are seeing as a result of this pandemic. So if you ask me how we can serve our most impacted students, if you ask me how we can address inequities in the educational system, if you ask me how we can address violence and school to prison pipeline in our district, taking action on a non-discriminatory and thoughtful Please dress finish. code is low hanging fruit. Thank you. Thank you.